Hello Cancer, Sun Rising and Venus and welcome to your reading. So Cancer, let's go over the overall energy for you as well as for your person. Just keep in mind that the roles can be reversed. Also keep in mind time is fluid so this could either currently be happening or maybe happening at a later date. How does Cancer currently view this relationship? Okay. So we have the Tower, we have the Two of Wands, and then we also have the Strength card. At the bottom of the deck, we do have the uh, Ten of Swords. It kind of looks like you recently initiated an ending here between you and whoever it is that you were dealing with here in the recent past. I feel like it was a very difficult uh, decision for you to make as far as like letting this person in particular go is concerned. But I feel like the main reason why you're doing all of this... Um, is because you're starting to kind of realize, Cancer, that your situation with this person is not improving. It's not changing, you know, for the better here. And I feel like this is you kind of making that judgment call that it's time for you to up and leave this entire situation. You're just doing what you feel as though is best for you. Uh, keep in mind the tower is linked. The tower is linked to the devil. And the devil can represent a very toxic and unhealthy environment and or marriage or relationship. Um, so you're definitely, you know, looking at your relationship with this person as something that was very toxic, very unhealthy, and very unstable. And I feel like this is you finally finding the strength and the courage within yourself to not only accept your reality with this person for what it is, but also remove yourself from it at the same exact time. And like I said, it doesn't look like this was an easy decision for you to make, but it kind of looks like you finally decided to make that decision and walk away. How does this person currently view this relationship with cancer? Hmm. Okay. We have the uh, Empress, we have the Hangman, and then we also have the Temperance card. I'm going to be honest, Cancer. Um, I'm going to be honest. In regards to how this person is currently viewing um, you and this relationship that they share with you, I feel like this is what they're hoping would eventually happen. I feel like that's what they're hoping would eventually happen. I feel like this person's hoping that eventually you'll wake up and, and kind of realize that you're you're kind of making a huge mistake here by walking away from them. Is basically what I'm getting. But I feel like this is what they're hoping for. I just don't feel like this is what's currently happening, if that makes any sense. Um, because what's currently happening is that you're definitely up and leaving this entire situation. But they're really hoping that one day you'll wake up and realize that you're making a terrible mistake here. Um, okay. Tell me more about the hangman. We have the Five of Pentacles, we got the Eight of Cups, and then we also have the um, Six of Cups out here. There's a huge possibility that the two of you could have a child and or children together, because I am definitely getting that. If not, um, this could be somebody that you've been dealing with for a very, very long time. Because there, there, there's a lot of history here between you and this person, which is kind of making me feel like you've been dealing with them for a very long time. But anyways, back to their energy. Um... Again, I feel like this person's kind of realizing that one day you'll wake up and realize that you're making a terrible mistake by walking away from them and what you once upon a time had here with them. And they're really hoping that when you do realize that you're making a terrible mistake here by walking away from them and what you once upon a time shared with them, that that will basically influence you to come running right back to them. Um, because they, as far as they're concerned, they feel like you're making a terrible mistake. Hold on, let me adjust my lighting because the sun is going up. Okay, we're back. Let's see how you're currently feeling. How does Cancer currently feel? Okay. So, we have the King of Pentacles. We have the Hierophant. And then we also have the Four of Wands. I feel like this is what you want. Now, there's a huge possibility, Cancer, that you may currently have this already in your life as far as like a King of Pentacles-like energy. King of Pentacles is somebody who's very big on commitment, but also very, very big on loyalty. Um, and I feel like that's what you want. Somebody who's very big on commitment, also very big on loyalty. King of Pentacles is also known for being a provider, being a protector. Um, 
you know, somebody who has a lot going for themselves, uh, career-wise anyways. Um, I feel like that's what you basically want. Uh, you want somebody who's going to take you and this relationship that they share with you um, as seriously as you are taking it. Um, a lot of you want to get married one day. A lot of you want somebody that you can trust, somebody that you can rely on. I just kind of feel like what it is that you want for yourself as far as like a relationship is concerned and what it is that you want within a partner is concerned they clearly lack that somehow some way i just don't know you know exactly what it is that they lack um i don't know what it is that they exactly lack here but you come off to me as somebody who knows exactly what you want and exactly what it is that you're looking for and you're kind of realizing that with this person you clearly don't have that now the Four of Wands, it does speak of stability, right? Um, and with the tower coming out here linked to this relationship that you once upon a time had with this person, it was quite the opposite. Um, I don't believe that you ever had a stable relationship with this person, and that's what you want. You want a stable relationship. Um, you want somebody that you can count on, somebody that you can rely on. So with that being said, I do feel like this entire experience wasn't a complete an utter waste of time because I feel like it helped you kind of narrow down what it is that you truly want within a person um, and what it is that you truly want within a relationship. So you learned a lot throughout the course of your involvement with this person. You learned what it is that you truly want and desire within a person and what you don't want within a person. And with the world coming out here, the world, it does speak of major life lessons. So you are learning a valuable lesson uh, through your entire experience here with this person from your past. So I wouldn't say that this relationship was a complete and utter waste of time because it helped you better understand and realize what you truly actually want within a person maybe you didn't know what you honestly wanted within a person prior to meeting this um, person from your past and now you know and again you might currently have this already in your life or this is just kind of what you want in general how does this person currently feel We have the Queen of Wands, we got the Seven of Cups, and then we also have the um, Seven of Pent- Ugh. Okay. Well, hold on. All right. Um, let's talk. I feel like this person is definitely dating new people and seeing new people is kind of what I'm getting. So let's break these two humans down that they're more than likely investing a lot of time and energy towards because I'm getting two separate energies, okay? Yeah, I'm getting two separate energies. Um, so let's focus on this one. We have the Queen of Swords to so the Five of Wands and then we also have the uh, Sun. Um, I feel like whoever this person is in particular, they currently find themselves chit chatting with slash talking to slash getting to know whatever you want to call it. They come off to me as somebody who's very, uh, immature, very, very immature, very, very drama filled. Um, it's all about them. It's all about them. They, they come off to me as somebody who likes to be like the center of attention 24 freaking seven. Um, uh, I guess. Right. So then they got that, you know. On their roster I guess whatever and they then we have the seven of Pentacles we also have the uh, seven of cups and then we have the Queen of Wands so um, there's another person that's in the mix here whoever this person is whoever this person is that they currently find themselves connecting with I am kind of getting like a gold digger vibe off of them um, this is that type of person that typically gravitates towards people um, who make a really good living for themselves, okay? Um, I am kind of getting like a gold digger vibe off of this person. Uh, they also kind of give me the impression of somebody who doesn't really want a relationship whatsoever. Um, if you don't have money, they're not going to more than likely give you the time of day is kind of what I'm getting. So this is kind of what they're dealing with, I guess. Um, okay. Um, but then we have the Two of Cups, so the Ten of Cups, so the Two of Pentacles, so the Four of Swords. So let's talk even though they're entertaining these two chicken heads over here um i don't feel like they have any sort of intentions of running off into the sunset with these two which to be honest i would not take the queen of swords or the queen of wants to go meet my mom and my dad and that's just me um especially with the energy that these two are harnessing uh, no um but anyways right here's where it gets interesting they don't have any sort of intentions of running off into the sunset with neither one of these chicken heads right but 
If it's one thing that I will say, it's mainly because they're still kind of keeping the door cracked open here for you. If they had to pick and choose who they're going to go off and freaking marry and settle down with and have kids with, it will definitely be you. For crying out loud, you're showing up as a damn empress. You're damn near close to fucking perfection at this damn point. An empress is all of the freaking queens in one. So chicken head number one and chicken head number two, they just don't, honey. They just don't compare to you. They just don't. You're all that in a bag of chips compared to these two chicken heads over here is kind of what I'm getting. Um, so with, with that being said, I think it's safe to say that your person knows exactly how to pick them. I will give them that. I feel like they know how to pick them. Um, I do. I feel like they know how to pick them. In, in other words, I feel like... I feel like it's very, very smart of them to take someone like you and build a life with someone like you instead of these two chicken heads. You know what I mean? They know how to pick them. They're not dumb. You know, like this is not that type of person that's going to run off into the sunset with chicken head number one or chicken head number two. Uh, these people don't possess what they're looking for within a person. One comes off to me as a freaking gold digger. Like this one over here comes off to, to me as somebody who... Again, typically goes after people who have a lot of money because they like to like, you know, take advantage of people, um, which I, I, I can't even respect that. Um, and then we got another one over here that has to be the center of attention 24 freaking seven. They love the drama. They love the chaos. They love the fuckery like, you know, so then there's that. Um, but yeah, they're still leaving the door cracked open here for you. They definitely are. Because, again, this, this person's biggest thing is I'm just going to sit around and just kind of wait until cancer comes to their senses. And once, and once they do, I'll be here. I'll be here. But in the meantime, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to talk to chicken head number one and chicken head number two um, is basically what I'm getting. And, again, this person's not dumb. They're not going to – they're not dumb. They're not going to go off and introduce mom and dad to these two chicken. They're just not going to – they're not going to do that. They're not dumb. Um, no. No. What actions will Cancer take towards this person or moving forward? We have the Queen of Cups. We got the Death card. And then we also have the uh, Three of Swords. Can you give me a card? I have yet to get a court card here for this person. I want a court card here. Um, can you give me a court card for this person Cancer is connecting with? Cancer. Okay, there's a reason why I felt compelled to get a court card here for this person. The moment that I shuffled in the first card that came out was a court card. Now we're going to really have a BFF moment here. Cancer, we have the Queen of Cups for you. We have the Death card and then we have the Three of Swords, okay? This is kind of like an overall energy of you basically kissing someone goodbye forever, which is basically this damn page that just showed up here for you. And this is where I'm going to have to get on you, Cancer. I understand that you became emotionally invested towards this one over here. I understand all of that. And you're hurt and you're very, very disappointed with the way things played out here between you and this person. I get it. But Cancer... You're letting go of something that's not even worth holding on to. And I just want you to kind of realize that the person that should be fucking crying right now and heartbroken is this one over here. I don't even know how. I don't even know how. I've never, I've never in my life have ever seen a page capture an empress before or an emperor. Never in my life. I've never seen it. Like I've seen a king of wands capture an empress. I've seen like a queen of wands capture an emperor, but never a page, which is basically insinuating this, okay? The only person, like I said, that should be heartbroken and, and crying and, and, and feeling like they honestly lost a good thing is not you. It's basically them that should be going through all of this. And I get it. Though. The reason why, you know, you're going through what you're going through is because you, 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 you grew to love them. You grew to care about them. But I just want you to know that you're not losing anything worth holding on to, Cancer. You're not. You're not losing anything worth holding on to. Page of Wands, man. Page of Wands, uh, Page of Wands comes off to me as somebody who can be a little bit of a flirt, can be a little bit inappropriate at times, especially with other people. Um, what else? Page of Wands is, for the most part, somebody who doesn't really have much going for themselves. It's somebody who can be very petty. It's somebody who can be very, very immature. 
um, pages typically look for people like you, actually, who are, you know, established, somebody has a lot going for themselves, because pages can barely take care of themselves. So how are they going to be able to take care of you, right? Uh, which is interesting, because the one thing that I got for you in regards to what you want within a man, what you want within a woman is a provider, is a protector, um, somebody that you can count on, somebody that you can rely. Uh, and remember when I said they clearly lack what it is that you're looking for. And I understand now why, you know, this is what you want, because what you want, they can't give you. They just can't. You, you can't rely on a page. Um, a page cannot provide for you. A page cannot protect you. Um, in other words, you're, you're kind of asking too much at this point from this person, considering the fact that they are a page of wands. You're asking for a little too much. Um, and like I said, the only, you know, I'm really, you know, no. I don't think that you should be sitting around crying over them or this ending that transpired here between you and them because the only person that should really be crying is them. I mean, they just lost a damn total package. You know what I mean? Um, not the other way around. Don't get it confused. It is not the other way around. In any way, shape, or form, it's not. It's like, you're not losing a total package here. They are. What actions? Mm -mm -mm -mm. We have the Nine of Cups, we got the Seven of Swords, and then we also have the Devil. Really, 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 really. I feel like this person is also very, I can never freaking say this word correctly because I'm Puerto Rican, but let's just roll with it. I'm going to attempt to say it one time and then I'm going to move past it because I'm going to get frustrated with myself because I can't pronounce it properly. I do feel like this person is very big um, on gaslighting people and manipulating people. Boom, I said it right. Manipulating people. All right, I'm not going to say it again because I'm probably going to butcher it. Yeah, they're very big on that, on those two things. Uh, with chicken head number one and chicken head number two, um, I feel like they are going to, um, lead these two on. Uh, they're going to make them think and believe that they honestly want something serious with them just to get what it is that they want out of them in the end, but they don't have any sort of intentions of sticking around for the reasons why I already mentioned. This person is not stupid you know if they honestly can pick and choose who would who they would rather go off and get married to settle down with build a life with it would basically be you um is what i'm getting as far as chicken head number one chicken head number two is concerned yeah i don't see them doing that with them whatsoever um they they come off to me as like a compulsive liar i'm also kind of getting that um, as well. This is somebody who only thinks about themselves. Um, also too, I'm also kind of getting that, but with the two of pentacles to the ten of swords to the east of wands to the chariot coming out here, no fucking surprise there. I kind of feel like once they get tired and bored of chicken head number one and chicken head number two, and they, yeah, once they get bored of them, that's when I see them eventually taking action in your direction in hopes that, you know, eventually you kind of came to your senses and kind of realize that you're making a terrible mistake here. But I just don't see how the hell you're making a terrible mistake here, Cancer. For the love of God, I just don't see it. I don't see it. Like, if you were making a mistake, I would have told you straight up, like, dude, I think you're kind of making a mistake here. I think you need to just, you know, I think that you just need to kind of really think about this because I've said it before in readings. Like, I've, I've seen people, you know, make mistakes and I'm like, Ugh, like, you may want to think about this one. You know what I mean? I don't feel like you're making a mistake. I don't feel like you're making a mistake. I don't. I don't. For the love of God, I don't feel like you're making a mistake. I don't. But they will come back. That's kind of besides the point here. And to be honest, I don't blame them. I don't I don't blame them for running after you. I don't blame them. Like again, you're not a you're not a page. You're not a queen of wands. You're not a queen of swords. You're a damn empress. You're like close to fucking perfection, my friend. Like, you know what I mean? I don't blame them for running back to you. I don't blame them. What's gonna end up happening between cancer and this person? We got the nine of wands and then we also have the world very nice very very nice so in regards to what's going to end up happening here between you and this person nothing at all 
Absolutely. Nothing at all. You know, I feel like you're kind of realizing in order to get what you truly want, right? Which we already kind of discussed what it is that you truly want. You're going to have to start doing things differently around here. So this whole, you know, you constantly taking them back and all this stuff, like, that has to change. You can't keep doing the same old, same old and expect um, a different outcome. Because you're not going to get a different outcome, Cancer. You're just not. Um... You're just not. You're not going to get a different outcome. Not from this one over here. You know, I just, there's, there's just a lot of maturing that needs to take place. There's a lot of growing up that needs to take place. There's a lot of life experience that needs to take place on this person's behalf. This person, they, they come off to me as somebody who's very, very mature. I mean, not very mature, very immature, especially for their age. Um, again, there, there's only so much that you can do with a page. You know what I mean? Like, to be honest, I don't know how it may sound, but with pages, like pages belong with pages. But the problem is, is that it's very rare to see two pages come together because again, pages p typically look for people like you, people who are established, people who have a lot going for themselves, mainly because again, pages are people who look for people who can take care of them because they can barely take care of themselves. Um, pages also go after people who are very loving, very nurturing, very, um, uh, motherly because i'm also i also tend to kind of see that with pages too um because they want somebody to to coddle them and and baby them and things like that. that's just how they roll you know what i mean um no no what what you want i'm gonna be honest what you want okay because they showed up as a page of wands okay so there's levels to this you want a king of pentacles this, there's levels to this so they're showing up as a page of wands so we got the page of wands um so we got the pages that come out first, then we got the knights that follow, and then that's when we hit the, the kings, right? So we have the king of wands, king of swords, king of cups, and then boom, that's when we hit king of pentacles status. It's going to take this person years, years to get to king of pentacles status, years. Okay, I've never, I've never in my freaking life, I've seen a page go from a page to a king like that in a matter of months. No, it takes years it takes a very 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 long time the fact that you're showing up as an empress this could definitely apply for some of you um at a young age you may have um or you may you were probably forced to grow up very very fast okay um i am kind of getting that for some of you out there hence why you have more life experience than this person um you know things like that i just kind of feel like you've matured very very quickly and it could be because of your childhood maybe you were forced to grow up um a lot faster than you honestly wanted to um you know some people go through that but i just feel like you've definitely matured a lot faster than this individual over here for sure without a shadow of a doubt um what's gonna happen next in regards to love for cancer Doom, 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 doom. Ooh, cancer. Mm, 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 mm. Just keep swimming, honey. Just keep swimming. So we have the nine of cups. We got the uh, nine of pentacles. You're like my freaking spirit animal. You know, yes, I see you grieving the loss of this person, which to be honest, I feel like they should be the one fucking crying, not you. Because I feel like you just, you just got rid of something that wasn't even worth ho holding on to. But I get it. You grew to love this person. I'll respect that. But I just, I just needed to be your BFF for a moment and just kind of tell you, they should be the one crying, not you. But you'll get over it. You will get over it. You'll move past it. You'll be fine. Um, I do kind of see you after all of this kind of getting back to just focusing on you, the things that make you happy, um, you know, rediscovering yourself all over again. With the three of cups of the chariot to the moon coming out here, let's talk, honey. Let's talk. I feel like you're going to end up meeting someone. And whoever this person is that you're going to end up meeting, um, it kind of looks like the connection in itself is going to catch you by surprise, which kind of makes sense as to why it would, because the Nine of Pentacles, Nine of Cups is typically not somebody who's looking for love. It's somebody who's very hyper-focused on themselves. So when this connection does show up here for you, it is going to kind of catch you off guard just a little bit. You guys are going to instantly hit it off with one another. It's like the more you talk to this person, the more you get to know this person, the more you start to kind of realize that they fit exactly what you're looking for this is somebody of your caliber this is somebody of your caliber in other words this is somebody who's, who brings just as much to the table honey as you do okay this is a true pair 
I do feel like walking away from this relationship was honestly the best thing that you could have ever done, especially because of what is going to happen next in your life. Now, I'm going to be honest. I don't I I feel like it's going to take maybe like a few months before you meet this person. But I got to be honest, once you grieve the loss of this person and this relationship that you once upon a time had with them, love is not going to be at the forefront of your mind. You are going to be at the forefront of your mind what you want to do next with your life. And when love shows up because it will, and the more you get to know them and spend time with them, the more you start to kind of realize, "Oh damn, like I ask for someone like you to walk into my life. It will happen. It will definitely happen. But as far as like, you know, this human being to the right of me is concerned, you know, walking away from this relationship was honestly the best thing that you could have ever done. I feel like you manifested this connection for yourself into fruition. It's basically time um, that things start playing out in your favor because it kind of looks like for a while, honey, this relationship between you and this page over here, yeah, this entire situation has been playing out in their favor for a little while now. I can see the benefit of them being with you. I don't see the benefit of you being with them, straight up. Um, I just don't see it. But I see the benefit of the two of you guys being together because there's somebody of your caliber. There's somebody who brings just as much to the table as you do. There's somebody who's just as big um, on commitment as you are and as big as... They're just as big um, on commitment and loyalty, I'm sorry, as you are. The page, ugh, you can't really ask too much from a page because, you know, they can only do so much. You know, they can, this person doesn't know the first thing that comes with being loyal. So you can't expect them to be loyal. They don't know, they just, listen, there's just a lot of growing up that needs to take place, Cancer. Don't make, don't make this, this page your problem. Let chicken head number one, chicken head number two deal with them. Um... But you need to remain on the path that you're currently on because just know that what it is that you're currently trying to manifest into fruition here for yourself will come into fruition when you least expect it. And it'll happen when the universe feels like you're ready to finally receive. It'll happen. All right. So that's what I have for you. Hopefully the reading helped. Hopefully it resonated. And I will see you guys in your next reading. Bye.